it's been a PR disaster for the GEA this week. It's been a bad week for the GEA, but I have to say a huge admiration for Kildare and the way they handled it. I mean, at the end of the day, how must Tyrone and, and Cavan feel all of a sudden that, well, it's not going ahead. So it seems like very much they were the paupers in this whole thing that it was felt that there was no point in playing them in Crow Park. So, yeah, bad week for the GA, bad week PR-wise for the GA, and it's something they're going to have to look at, it. and it goes back to what Mike Dignan said on RTE not so long ago, you know, about the the introduction of Sky. I mean, the GA is a massive commercial entity. There's, there's no point in saying otherwise. And for the GA to say that they're not, it's not driven by money, I just can't buy that or believe it, because if you're a huge commercial entity, you've got to try and make money. But... You see, they're reticent to come out and say that they are because of the amateur ethos. So there's a lot of contradiction going on in our association at the moment. And I think they have a difficulty in that you have what to me is an elitist representative body in the GPA that looks after a select few when you consider everyone that plays the games. And you've got a a club body that's really getting no recognition whatsoever. I'd much prefer, prefer to see the GPA look to represent all our players because, to me, they do a good job for the guys that they have on their books. Mm. But you could argue it is elitist. So there's a lot going to unfold from this over the next, I would say, year or two as to where we are going with our association because our games are still very good. But from a hierarchical point of view, I think that we need a lot of self-introspection.